Hello again. A dry, bright day for many on Thursday, but uh, it was only a brief drier, brighter spell because there's more rain arriving overnight and through much of Friday. That rain's going to be heavy in places. There's a Met Office yellow warning in place. Gusty winds as well, but those winds crucially coming up from the south bringing some pretty mild air to boot. Low pressure is dominating out west, but it's these weather fronts that are spiralling around it that will bring the bands of rain across the country. This one uh, particularly lively during Friday, followed by plenty of showers for the weekend. First area of rain then working its way in. Not much rain across East Anglia and the southeast overnight, and uh, parts of Scotland, Northern Ireland should also turn a little bit drier. But elsewhere, a lot of clouds, outbreaks of rain, and the winds continuing to strengthen. That combination will keep the temperatures up. For a time through the evening, we could drop down to uh, five, six degrees across parts of eastern England, maybe lower in northern Scotland. But by morning, we're generally looking at double digits to start what will be a very mild day. Mild, but also gloomy. A lot of cloud around on Friday. Rain and drizzle covering most of England, Wales, southern Scotland. Some brighter skies likely in northern Scotland, at least for a time. And then the next zone of rain comes in. And look at this, some really bright colours there, particularly concerning for parts of South Wales and southwest England, where the ground is very, very soggy indeed. The wind's also going to be especially gusty. Notice not much rain gets to East Anglia and the southeast and Northern Ireland might brighten up a little bit later on. But that rain is going to be heavy and last for much of the day over South Wales and southwest England. We could also see some thundery downpours mixed in with that, so sudden intense bursts of rain. 30 millimetres quite widely, maybe 80 millimetres over the uh, moors in the southwest, the hills and mountains of South Wales. It could cause some flooding, certainly could cause some travel disruption. It's also going to be very gusty too, so gusts around coast of 55 to maybe 60 miles an hour. Not great on the roads, especially for high-sided vehicles. So wet weather swinging in, but uh, those winds are coming up from the south, so bringing mild air. We could, in a few places, uh, particularly to the north of hills, get up to 13, 14, maybe even 15 Celsius. And generally, 11 to 13 is pretty mild for this time of year. The wet weather will continue for a time well into the evening, again over the southwestern corner of the UK, but also parts of northern England and eventually working its way into East Anglia and the southeast. Then a drier spell before more showers come in. You can see here that swirl of cloud. That's that area of low pressure that will dominate through the weekend. The rain perhaps not as persistent, but bands of showers coming in on Saturday. We will see some brighter skies, again some sunshine, but the winds, although not as strong as Friday, will still be strong enough to blow those showers into central and eastern areas at times. So they'll be heavy, hail and thunder can't be uh, ruled out, but they should at least move through because of those winds. Now, temperatures dropping off a touch by Saturday, still uh, probably above average, but feeling a bit fresher with the gusty winds and certainly feeling cooler when the showers come along. And there's more showers to come on Sunday. The weather fronts tend to swing away. The low pressure is getting closer. The isobar is just opening out a touch on Sunday. So although it'll still be windy, it won't be quite as blustery, I don't fancy, on Sunday. Broadly speaking, the weekend is a case of sunshine and showers. And with that low pressure in that position, most of the showers will be across the west and the south. Uh, the sunniest spells will be across the east. But with the gusty winds, as I said on Saturday, those showers are likely to affect all areas. Heavy showers at times as well. Plenty going on then. Uh, make sure you stay up to date with the Met Office. Best way to do that, of course, on social media. Weather warning, if you want to look at that in more detail, that's available through the app or the website.